And this is the first part of a Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot XS, a game created by Vicarious Visions, not the Naughty Dog games. This is a bit later, which most people consider the non Naughty Dog games really crap, but whatever. Alright, English. Uh, just so you know, Cortex is the baddie in every single Crash Bandicoot game. And it becomes more of a joke in the later games, like in this one. Little scientist. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'll explain all the concepts and all the controls and all that crap as we go on. Planetary Minimizer. How's that going to help you take over the world? Oh no! We're doomed! Or something. How does that help me take over the world though? You've just made the planet smaller. You can't do anything in the world. You can't control them. What you can do is move it around and shake it. And where's the sun? How come there's still light in the world? That makes no sense. Well, I guess there's no point making sense of this type of game. <laughs> Grapefruit. Yum. And the crystals again. All the late crash games just focus on collecting crystals. Alright, and here's the level select screen. This is just at first you can only set the first five levels and then once you beat the five levels you go to a boss and then you get the next five levels and you can beat those new five levels and get new and so on. Yeah. Each level contains one crystal that you need to collect and a gem if you collect all the boxes in the level. Some levels have more than one gem and sometimes even full of gems. Um, so yeah, you just start this first one and get it over with. Yeah, so this is Crash where you just move left and right. Press A to jump, B to spin, to destroy the boxes, and as you can see there's 42 boxes in this level. We've got to collect them all if we want to get the gem. We press R to, to slide, and R and A to slide jump, which I'll be using very often in this LP. And also, if you're stationary, you can press R to crouch and then move, which will be useful in some situations. But also, if you're stationary, crouch, and you press A to jump, you can do a high jump. Single crates just don't really do anything at all, they just kind of give you an apple. Question mark crates can give you anything, or mystery crates as some people call them. And then there's the juice boxes, I don't know, everyone calls them different names, but I'm, I call them bouncy crates, where they just give you 10 apples, and every time you jump on them they give you 2, and once you've got all 10 apples, or wumper fruits, whatever, I'm going to call them apples, I've called them apples throughout the entire thing, even if they're called wumper fruit, whatever. So yeah, 10, 10 wumper fruits, apples, whatever and then the crate gets destroyed. It's very important to remember that for some of the later obstacles. Just spin these enemies or jump on them. I prefer to spin them myself. Right, jump over here. Is there a checkpoint? Well, I think we all know what checkpoints are. <laughs> Die and you go back to them. You get a lot of these box sandwiches as well. Some people call them. Alright, what's this? A bonus round. Basically in a bonus round is just a simple left to right, collects all the boxes, and there you go. If you die in a bonus round you don't lose a life and you just appear straight outside the bonus um, round platform thing anyway. Yeah. So, you know, there'll be a lot of times where you, you accidentally make a mistake and you won't be able to get all the boxes, so it's best just to kill yourself because you won't lose a life. And these boxes obviously count to the total boxes of the level, so you need to collect all the crates in a bonus round if you want to get all the gem in the level. Go. Wait. Well, hey. Alright, be careful here because if you destroy this box, you won't be able to get the box on top of that metal crate there. Obviously, metal crates are indestructible. Can't do anything to them. Be there forever. Alright, here we go. As I said, I love sliding. Now, this is an Aku Aku crate. By destroying an Aku Aku, Aku crate, you get an, well, an Aku Aku mask. And basically, you can just take an extra hit. Once you get take a hit, he dies. But he won't protect you from things like holes or lava or stuff like that. Oh, what the heck? Can't believe I died by that. Oh well, well there you go. The Akiaku not died, got hit. And the Akiaku protected me, and that's 
served as a good example. There's a crystal. There's also these bouncy up arrow crates which just bounce you upwards. Holding A on them makes you bounce even higher. Oh, oh I'm supposed to explain what those boxes are, but well, I'll explain what those boxes were in a later, you know, later level. Here we go, the end of the level. As you can see, we've got all 42 boxes, so we can just collect the gem and continue on. Alright, let's go to the next one. Shipwrecked. Now, there's quite a few underwater levels in this game. Underwater levels mostly work the same as the normal levels, except that you can go up and down as well, and your movement's slightly more sluggish. You can press A instead of jumping, just boot, it gives you a little boost, and... B just does the usual spin, but we got to be careful when you spin because you can sometimes get propelled forward and hit enemies or something that you might not want to hit. Just avoid that. Go down here. Oh. oh shit, that was close. It's a fairly simple level, it's a bit complex. Just keep going on, collecting all the crates. Staying alive. I was thinking about singing Staying Alive then, but then I thought, nah, I won't subject you to such torture. Yeah, the enemies in this level aren't too bad. They're pretty predictable and you can easily avoid them. There's some tricky underwater le enemy le enemies. <sighs> if I can get this sentence right, there's some tricky underwater enemies in later levels. Yeah, there we go. But we don't need to worry about them now. Damn mine. There we go, get down here. Those spikes can't harm you, by the way, because they're to annoy you. Whoa! These eel things are definitely one of the most deadly enemies in the underwater levels. Oh, there we go. Spin! What the hell? Oh no. Oh, you see, I don't want to spin because then I'll get propelled forward into the mine. Oh crap. Alright, think about this carefully. Oh, I knew it! Oh, well, let's try this again. Oh, when I could, I could. Oh, what? I lost it! Oh, the game was trying to help me out because you noticed how that wasn't an Aku Aku before. Sometimes when you die, the crates will turn into Aku Aku crates to help you out. And I just lost that straight away. Alright. I'm going to lead this mine away over here and then quickly go to get the, the boxes. There we go. Let's keep it going down there and go around. Ooh. There we go. And that's the gem and the end of the level. I think we'll call it a day now. That's just two parts. Introduction to the story in which we've just got to collect crystals to, well, save the world. Apparently, yeah. Which is kind of illogical considering the world will pretty much be destroyed by being minimised anyway. I mean, what about the sun and the moon? There's no balance or anything. Whatever. Anyway, next time I'll continue on with the levels and we'll see what happens. Ugh.